makes it so that all um, students in Prince High have an iPad, iPod that they use in their classes and um, with their, yeah, wouldn't you like an iPad? <laughs> um, and so what they do is they reconfigure, troubleshoot those uh, with students that have difficulties and also make it possible so that those are functioning with that within that grant. Um, their latest venture um, has been to, uh, these, they decided to do a service learning uh, grant and this project has been able to secure um, a Beagle robot. And I'm not sure what Beagle stands for. Just a uh, virtual, okay. Virtual Go robot. Which is basically a robot that has a screen on it um, and it connects uh, students up at Primary Children's um, with uh, the classroom you know, over at Kearns High. So um, we want to recognize the Cyber, Cyber Core team from Kearns High. Um, and I guess we'll start with um, Rachel Murphy. I know you were videotaping, sorry. And do you, do you want to say a few words and then I say recognize, call up each student. And we do have um, certificates in. So they're not in order, so when they come up, we'll find out the students. So this group of students um, decided to take on the service learning project in December, and we unveiled it in January to uh, Kearns High students and staff. They used the t-shirts that we sold as part of the fundraising opportunity for students. We also sold those wristbands that um, uh, we, they put little
uh, Karen has a really important job. I don't know if, um, if you've heard about our check-in, check-out program. If students have issues using their iPods appropriately at school, she's the check-in, check-out girl. She uh, keeps all the students in line. She's really good at all the kids. <laughs> Next we have Emily Merrill. She's our last senior, one of our newer Cyber Corps members. Then we have Chris Jansen. He's one of our 11th graders who will be staying with our program. And Chris knows everything there is to know about technology. Yeah. He's already find a job. <laughs> and Zach Lester, another one of our 11th graders. And we have uh, a third 11th grader, uh, uh, Peyton Warden, who is not able to be here today. And our um, yeah. and our uh, last student that's here is Jordan Robinson. Jordan is a 10th grade student, and he's been volunteering his time with our project. Some of our students here are able to have uh, part-time paid jobs as part of that Cyber Corps grant, um, iPod grant. Jordan will soon rise in the ranks to a paid employee. Yeah. Rachel Murphy, what like, yeah. <laughs> the most important person. Thank you, Rachel. Everything that's doing with these students. And I, I do want to recognize one more person, um, Nancy Heckin Liable, who's videotaping yeah, us. <laughs> <laughs> Nancy also works in the library with me and uh, manages so much of the iPod project and keeping our media scene going. So um, without them, we wouldn't have a program. So kudos to everybody. At this time, let's recognize the Cyber Corps. Woo -hoo! I just wanted to say something too about Cyber Corps. When I read about this article in the, in the Times Journal, I thought, what an opportunity for a student that is that is in the hospital and can't go to class to to be able to walk down the halls per se. Uh, interact with teachers and classmates in class, interact at lunches and stuff like that. What a, what a cool project this really was.